If your goal at the start of the year was to exercise more and lose weight and you're falling short, you may be tempted to try one of the hundreds of quick fixes that are out there. Joining me now to discuss it all is Dr. Sean McCaffrey with the McCaffrey Family Health Center. Good morning Good to morning. you, Doc. All right, so let's talk about the first one. Just finding out about this one, Gar um, Garcinia Cambogia. Seems like a magic pill uh, without making any major dietary changes. Uh, is it possible to raise the levels of serotonin with a pill? And you know, why do we need to raise our levels of serotonin? Yeah, well, with this particular one, uh, the big claim to fame in it is, is that there's a, it's called HCA. It's a hydroxy citric acid is what it basically is, and it inhibits an enzyme. Now, the problem you run into is that the amount that you would have to consume to make that happen in the body uh, is a huge, huge amount that okay. we will never do. Uh, in the work that I've done with it over the years, uh, the studies that I've seen done on it over the years, it's never really held up in a clinical setting. So it's more hype, I think, hmm. than it is actual productivity. You don't see the big weight loss that they claim. You don't see all the little things. Could it potentially, maybe somewhere, some way, but from what I've seen in practice, it doesn't seem to do very well. So this is based on a fruit, right? It is. It's a, it's a fruit that you find in um, Southeast Asia. Uh, it's a very large fruit. It looks almost like a melon. Yeah, there you go. It looks like a melon to some degree. Okay. Um, it, and again, it has some good pro it has good properties. And in, and in traditional Chinese medicine, it's got some great things. Is it this weight loss cure-all? It's not. Okay. Now, I read with this particular diet, mm -hmm. lab mice had lower insulin levels that mice that didn't. How can that help us lose weight? Well, as you lower your insulin, and it's all about blood sugar swings. You know, that's a big focus of the diet that we do in our practice is trying to control blood sugar swings. You've got to stop this up and down, up and down going on. Yeah. If the body's running sugar too high, too low, too high, too low, then you start kicking off cortisol. And cortisol is what allows you to produce basically fat around the midsection. It's your stress hormone. And mm -hmm. so insulin is the counterbalance to that. So if you can control insulin levels and you can control cortisol levels, you can control your weight. And control that spare tire. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> now another diet I heard about, actually through a coworker, someone uh -huh. here in the office, is the military diet. It claims you can lose up to 10 pounds in a week. Now how does this work? It's you not know, a magic it, pill. Yeah, and it's not. In this case, it's kind of a fad, quick fix diet. Um, it's following the premise of an intermittent fast which is what you use with diabetics a lot of times. You'll take three or four days, you'll shrink your portions down dramatically during that time frame, and then you'll kind of go back to a more normal diet the last three to four days of the week. The problem you run into with this particular one is that they're trying to go after your, your things you want, right? There's mm -hmm. ice cream and crackers and bread and all these things, but it's still very low calorie. So what ends up happening with a diet like this or a fad type diet, you will drop weight. You'll drop five, six, seven, eight pounds in a hurry, but it's mainly water weight. Oh. And if you go on it for long periods of time, you'll actually start going after your muscle with a diet like this. It's not permanent weight loss. And it takes an, a lot of determination, a lot of, you know, force right to struggle ahead to stay on it because it gets boring you know you're eating the same exact things sure. three four days in a row week after week after week yeah probably only best to just do it for a few days because yeah I, and, I, and, I, and again for that it's a quick fix yeah if you want to get into a dress absolutely or, you know, go to a wedding or <laughs> anything like that uh thoughts on either of these diets i mean yay or nay you know i would say nay to both um especially the pill as a supplement it doesn't really do what it's supposed to do and there's a whole bunch of them out there that claim the same thing uh it doesn't really pull off a whole lot you have to change your eating habits. As far as the military one, it's a quick fix. If you're like, oh, I'm five pounds over and I got to be in a dress by Monday, right. it's not a bad way to go temporarily. But the long-term benefits of it, permanent weight loss, they're just not there with that. All right. As always, Doc, thank you so much for your advice. Great, we'll see you again you. on Wednesday.